What happened? Him? Oh, shit. The Pat Matter, Minnesota, circa 18 tickety two. A wild band of ghosts are heading north in search of gold and difficult prostitutes. Exhausted from an ectoplasm fight over the most choice prostitute, one of these apparitions decides to rest his spirits in the Pat Manor. He was greeted by a man standing over 40 feet tall wielding a magic sword, until a foolish samurai warrior stepped forth to oppose him. The dawn, the next day, the entire state of Minnesota was missing, and the wails of the horny ghosts are said to still haunt the remaining crater. Pat's Manor, 1960 a rogue band of ghost prostitutes are protesting the use of ghost prostitutes as slave labor. That's when an officer stops them for driving a solid gold ghost prostitute mobile without a license to spook. When the officer approached the window, he found that the car was indeed inside Pat's Manor. Pat's Manor, 1980. Nothing happens. Pat's Manor, 2017. Several rude dudes decide to play horror games on YouTube for October 1st to the 31st. The only people watching were ghosts. That's when I went to Pat's Manor to get some inconclusive answers. Hey, this is Pat, and I've lived in Plum Tuck Texas Texas E for 14 years. Uh, I used to be a woodworker for 30 years, a steel mill worker for 20 on top of that, then a chainsaw fighter for seven after that. And this beauty right here is my pride and joy. I need to fix the fiberglass on that but the infinite wailing screams of damned souls won't let me get close and uh, this shed will not let me pass on <laughs> that's when I got together with the foremost paranormal investigator the Nathan and we're gonna figure out if this house really is haunted my credentials well I studied at the University of Transylvania for 10 years uh, it was a two-year program, but I just wanted to be really thorough. Um, I have discovered uh, numerous entities uh, and uh, manifestations and presences. Goodness. Hey, 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 hey. Now look, buddy, there ain't no percent chance in hell that this house is haunted. Now what the steamy diarrhea shit are you doing? I'm just scanning for presences and uh, look. They're just falling off the shelves by themselves. There's clearly something supernatural going on here. I'm gonna get to the bottom. All right, so from the looks of things, we're dealing with a class for presence. Now, in a situation like this, it's very important to mind your P's and Q's. That's uh, presences and ghosts. Uh, ghost, is, ghost is spelled with a, a, a silent Q. You just, hold on. There we go. That's better. 
We have it. Inconclusive evidence. This is the way forward. I, we have to. It's over here. No, no, no. I, I know it. It has to. There's no other way. There's no other way. What? Well, there was that time at the farm get together. This uh, little girl uh, came up to me and her eyes turned black and blood started spurting out of her neck and from the shed I heard voices of thousands of children in unison calling for damnation of all mankind and echoed throughout the county saying I never forgive, I never forgive. Well, shadows overtook the barbecue, sending people into mad vomiting fits and crying out for God to save them but their cries went unheard as the gibbering madness took them over. And if that makes a house haunted, then show me a house that ain't. Whoa, did you guys hear that? I, I think I saw a light turn on near the room. Oh. Like, like what the hell? Oh, what the hell is that? What? Hold on, let's go get a reading on this. Yeah. Yeah, we're picking up a lot of readings on my DTF meter. Looks like we've got a... Class 12, damn! Class 12... Enchantress messing with your lamp, I think. Do you think you, you have, you have any, no idea what that is? Like... Oh, it is? This ain't nothing. This could be the, uh, the gibber and madness, but, uh... My conversational hypnotherapist says... Now, it could be the man who turns into a wolf every every night of the full moon. No, that's my neighbor. Oh, it could be the the constant rattling chains in that. No, that's Grandpappy. Oh, it could be the beast in my shed. Your shed? Yeah, yeah, the my pride and joy. I think we should check out that shed. I think that's a great idea. This is very supernatural in nature. It's only a little natural. Oh, my shed? Yeah, yeah, that's a big piece of shit. All right, so, so, so where is this disturbance? Well, if I were directing a guess, Yeah, right there, in the shed, where the Indians were buried, and the Africans were buried, and, and my grandpa died. Picking up some sort of occurrence energies. Oh, and uh, 12 children were slaughtered in there. Oh, and it's a dog graveyard. Whoa. That's some spooky shit. You've got some old stuff in your shed, man. You alright? You alright? Do you think? He's just, it's, uh, this is nothing. Okay. I think what, right. what, what we're looking at here is, is, not, is nothing. Uh, it's gotta be somewhere else. Okay. You think it's in that sweet pool? Yeah, yeah, that, that pool is probably uh, very uh, haunted. Let's get in! <laughs> <laughs> I should get in. <laughs>
did they? Oh my god.